project that would scour Twitter accounts, blogs, and websites and be used to, quote, predict the future. Google's venture capital firm and the CIA's NQTEL invested $10 million into a company called Recorded Future. Using metadata, Google and the government can predict not only societal trends, but individual action, knowing better than you do where you will likely be at a certain time. That's being done with metadata, not with your phone calls or your email. But now the surveillance state gets far more intrusive and sinister. Not content to invade your home, your mail, your computer, the government has been working for decades on ways to invade your mind, monitoring your thoughts, controlling your actions, even implanting or changing your memories. And InfoWars has been pointing this out for a long time as well. Look at this article from 11 years ago. Now if you Google it, You'll easily find over 349,000 results in less than half a second. And the government and its media have gone from ridiculing reports of their mind control research, calling you a conspiracy theorist if you report it, to taking credit for it, even putting a humanitarian spin on their demonic creation. The mainstream media is positively giddy about the prospects of mind control and memory manipulation. How will the IT revolution help change our minds, improve our lives? Are we going to cure diseases like Alzheimer's, move objects just by looking at them? DARPA wants you to see the purpose of their research as producing a medical device for Alzheimer's or PTSD. DARPA also wants you to see their militarized robots as something that will save your life in a natural disaster. They want you to believe that building a robot that can run faster than a human is to save you, not to hunt you down. Of course, DARPA's evil inventions could be used for benevolent purposes, but benevolent medical devices are not DARPA's mission. Their mission statement says that it's to overcome multifaceted threats, to wield cyber as a military capability, to open new operational regimes with advanced platforms and weapons, and to build a strong foundation for tomorrow's military. DARPA weaponizes technology. They're not looking for a cure for Alzheimer's. They're not even looking for a cure for PTSD. They're looking for a way to weaponize mind control. Keep that in mind when you hear this. We can actually connect the mind to a computer now and actually begin to, quote, read thoughts. You can type, you can issue commands, and we can even photograph what you're thinking about. Meaning that, in principle, we can photograph a dream. Homeland Security's mission isn't benevolent medical devices either. As InfoWars reported three years ago, Homeland Security, as part of their so-called anti-terrorism mission, developed a memory transfer system at the University of Southern California. The Pentagon and Homeland Security pretending that their mind control programs are benevolent medical devices is just like the thought police and the interrogators from the novel 1984 calling themselves the Ministry of Love. Homeland has a familiar ring to it and a familiar purpose. Who knows, maybe we'll upload a vacation you never had. Or maybe they'll use you as a false flag terrorist. Kaku even referenced Total Recall. Tell us your fantasy. We'll give you the memory. You want to be a crime fighter, a world-class athlete, or a secret agent. Yeah. Happy trails, man. What happens if our criminal justice system comes up against the fact that memories, eyewitness accounts, cannot be trusted anymore? Finally, Kaku talked about another aspect of brain control besides selectively removing memories or implanting new fictional memories. InfoWars has been covering for a long time the dream of Ray Kurzweil, now director of engineering at Google, and of others that they will transfer their consciousness into machines, that they will merge with machines in what they call the singularity. Uh, so, Professor, are, are, are we going to be able to live forever, store memories? Well, President Barack Obama and the European Union are going to dump a billion dollars, that's billion with a B, not an M, to the brain project so that we're going to create basically a disk with all your neural patterns, maybe your memories and thoughts and desires on it. The short-term goal is to cure mental illness, one of the great scourges of the human race. But long-term, if you die, in some sense, your genome and your connectome will live on forever. The real singularity is the merging of global corporations with global government in order to enslave you. We've already seen a huge upswing in prosperity because of the IT revolution. The kind of things that you're talking about, though, sound like they could expand our economy, <laughs> improve our lives. 
They see you as lab rats. They will offer you some temporary beneficial benefits in order to get you to accept their brain and memory technology. But it will be the instruments of your enslavement. Excellent report by David Knight there in the newsroom, ladies and gentlemen. And there's more of that every night, 7 o'clock Central, InfoWars Nightly News. I'm skipping this network break to go to Chris, Robert, Laura, Tom, and Travis for the transmission ends today. Uh, but please understand that this could all be neutral. And then we could decide whether we wanted to change ourselves, give up our humanity, and become something different. They are not making it voluntary. They intend to make it mandatory and are phasing it in right now. Just like the illegal spying, just like the forced medication with the fluoride in the water. They think it's funny. And they will end up being destroyed in it as well. You know, the funny thing about some of the top eugenicists in this country, if you go back to the 1920s and 30s, is most of them ended up being in insane asylums and ended up being mentally ill or committing suicide. I'm not saying all those psychologists and people are eugenicists. Sigmund Freud said that uh, a fear of weapons shows a gross immaturity uh, and childishness. Uh, g give me the exact quote, Sigmund Freud on fear of weapons. Type that in, guys. I want to give the exact quote because I saw that years ago, and then I was doing research last night, late last night, and uh, came back across it on an official psychology site with a bunch of other quotes. But that's true. I mean, it shows if you have a fear of like a butcher knife, Oh, somebody pulls out a bush knife, like, oh, and you're cutting carrots or something, or a fear of a gun or whatever. It, 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 it really does show a childishness. While we're finding that quote, uh, please don't forget that InfoWars Nightly News is subscriber, but then we pay it forward to YouTube and everything the next day and are developing a lot of other avenues to get it out to folks. A lot of TV stations, people download it every day and end up playing it the next day. Uh, you can see the nightly news, 7 o'clock every night. Some nights it's live, a lot of times taped to air. We do special live reports as well and so much more. It's all my films, so much more. If there's anywhere you'd want to subscribe to digital media so 11 people can use the same username and passcode, it's prisonplanet.tv. And it is your purchase of that uh, yearly membership. You get three months free or you get a monthly for five ninety five. that finances what we do. It takes about a minute to sign up. And again, uh, create a unique username and passcode and share it with friends and family. 11 people can simultaneously sign up. It's on Roku, Boxy, so many other systems. PrisonPlanet.tv. All right, uh, let's go to Chris in South Carolina. Chris, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Yes, sir. I was wanting to go at the angle of, you know, your movie Endgame. Yes, sir. Okay. You have said many times that the globalists... The two main issues are China and Russia. All right, what if they, they're occupying China? What if they're starting this war with Russia? The nukes are missing. All right, you got uh, the, the commanders and everything else within the military being purged. All at the same time, they're rolling out all of this stuff like you were saying. They've also killed the bankers, and they have also disappeared a bunch of tech guys who have created a lot of this technology. You tell me what you think this war is about. Well, again, you said it. The globalists are above the countries, not totally controlling them, but playing them off against each other while they transfer the governmental authority to unelected private corporate boards. And then once that's in place, Katie bar the door. We've already seen what they've done in third world countries. So it's just a, the conflict they'll make trillions off of. And, um, you know, Putin won't mind it because he'll get to become stronger and become a hero because he's challenging the West. That's why we keep having war and keep having death and keep having you know, our real progress destroyed because governments do the same tricks over and over again because they work. Tom, you have these Russian sleeper people. Okay. Then you have NATO who uh, Obama has given our military to. All right, they're saying NATO strikes, which is would basically be us. Okay? Excuse me, I lost my thoughts. If, 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 I mean, it's all right. What exactly are you getting at? I, I, I think this is more or less... Yeah, it's a money-making thing, like you were saying. Uh, Ukraine has. Well, it's a lot more than of just make money. Uh, the globals have unlimited money. They do it to transfer wealth and destroy it out of the economy. I mean, see, 
see, Russia and the Ukraine are some of the stronger countries. But if you can break them down, then what do you have? No, no, that's it. Bankrupt them. No, I totally agree. I appreciate your call. That, that's what's going on. Have an arms race with them that breaks them just like they have with the Soviet Union. Except now America's totally run by globalists. So it's not America doing this to Russia. It is literally the same people that are ruining our lives doing. And so the American people and the Russian people are in the same boat is what I keep trying to get at. Robert in California, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, I'm Robert, obviously from California. I live in California. I don't know if I used to um, see information as a producer for a TV show called Hard Copy, if you remember that one. Yes. Yeah, anyway, um, the biggest thing that you've done since InfoWars was basically your Pierce Morgan thing. I'm going to now set the next stage for the next level of your show to progress on to TV. We could probably get you on satellite on direct TV. You can use the same advertisers. Um, so you can be worldwide with your broadcast through satellite. The information I'm giving you right now is world breaking. Right now, they're going to test the UN's going to test out the cyber um, teams to shut down the internet. Once I tell you this information and where to locate the information on the internet, it reveals exactly a covert operation in order to use psyops, special operators from the White House, Pentagon, and CIA. You could, as you're saying, to take away people's guns. Number one, people who have access. It's like finding a diamond in the rough on the sand. There's diamonds out there in the sand, but you've got to know where to look. As intelligence, I, I actually, I retired. I, I left hard copy as one of the producers for the show, and now I'm a licensed private investigator. Okay. Yeah, I've been, on, I've been on hard copy about ten times. That was an interesting show. So, I think didn't Bill O'Reilly used to be on that. But listen, bottom line, what's the information? Okay, the information is basically, it's hitting on YouTube. If you go to YouTube, and you have to take screenshots because they will be removed by the White House. You go to YouTube, you type in crisis actress, Menudos. There's a lady who works for the government who is a witness from every single scene. The, the Boston bombing, she's a witness there. Sandy Hook, she's a witness there. And four other scenarios. Everything you've seen is, is a movie made, it was filmed. And then released as a real fact. Oh, I know. They got caught creating fake ATF raids of gun owners. And then said, oh, it was just a drill. I mean, look, they are doing a lot of fake stuff. But they also do real stuff and they mix it in with real people they're bombing and killing. So that's, that's important to add. I, I believe from my investigations, they hybridize the killings. Uh, and again, it's not that they don't want to kill people. It's that it's easier to not kill as many people to manage it. But I, I've seen all the crisis actor stuff. What's it called again? Uh, you go to Crisis Actor Busted on YouTube, and you'll see all the government agents. And, and what's really bad is Obama's crying for something he knows is faked and scripted is made is filmed. It's no, filmed Obama shooting. wouldn't fake cry. I mean, no. you, you didn't build your business. I appreciate your call. I mean, he said, don't listen to people that said tyranny's always around the corner. But that's not true. It's already eaten you. You're inside tyranny's belly. Well, again, I don't know how much of that crisis actor stuff is real, how much of it isn't. Uh, but they clearly, in some of these videos, it's staged. Blue screens, all of it. Uh, disappearing noses uh, and people acting. Really bad actors. All those folks that, that uh, you know, went to all the acting classes that can never get a job anywhere because the market's not big enough. They finally got a job working for FEMA. And they actually have real crisis actor groups that go around. They've got all these housewives and people that wanted to be movie stars. Now they uh, all run around and go to the government bombings and stuff and all have little secret agent badges and stuff. Of course, the government's going to kill all you ladies later. You know that, right? All the actors, men, men and women, you name it. We wouldn't want to be you part of any of that. Let's do some overdrive to talk to Laura, Tom, and Travis. Today. Her, come back, Infowars.com. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against 
the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products and get free shipping when you sign up for auto ship.